What's up, party people? It has been one week since my last Alok in Progress video, and I just know deep down in my heart that all of you that are watching this really, really, really want to know how my Alokin is doing. Well, let's get right into that. If you guys remember from my last video, one of my main goals was to get the Draconic Perptus, and I was successful in doing so. I had already farmed the Cornu, the Ungula, the Squama, and the Lacrima some time ago, um, and I just needed the Dragon Tongues, and I had just been too lazy to farm those, so I finally took the time to go and farm those Dragon Tongues, and I was able to get 100 of them. It was also uh, much faster now, given that they boosted the drop rate, and they added the solo dungeon. So I went ahead, and I got my Strength Perpetus, which adds a bunch of damage and health to my character, and I'm very happy to have it. It's an extremely important accessory, and if you guys don't have one already, I highly recommend going and farming one for your own. I have a guide on my channel for uh, how to obtain that if you're not sure how to do that. Of course, after getting my Perpetus, I needed to upgrade it, right? So I went ahead, I exchanged a bunch of seeds for spirit pieces and angers and whatever, and as you guys know, it's brutal and terrible, but I did it. I got my Eternal Essence, and I uh, went ahead and I crafted my upgraded Perpetus. And guys, if you ca or in case you were wondering how the stats were, my stats were probably the worst roll that I've ever gotten on a perp ever. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty lame. However, I'm sure I will roll it more in the future. I just didn't feel like breaking my fingers trying to get more seeds. If you guys didn't know, there's kind of like this ongoing event or cycle of events that happens where increasing some of your accessories um, becomes easier. Not only do they boost the rate, but they also reduce the amount of materials you need to upgrade those. So for me, I was thinking about my fang and my horn, right? Uh, I've been wanting to upgrade these. It's a extremely important pvp item and as we've mentioned before you know, you know becoming a decron god and all that good stuff you got to have the best in slot accessories right so i went ahead and i used a bunch of angers that i had and i was successfully um able to upgrade my fang uh multiple stages um actually it went really well it went better than i had hoped for i managed to go all the way up to a sturdy devil's horn uh, which uh, is great. I'm hoping at least by the end of the event to get to the shiny devil's horn. Um, the great devil's horn is just a very hard accessory to get, and I'm definitely not going to expect that to succeed. Uh, but if it does happen, it happens. I was able to get it on my main account, my uh, black wizard on Tristy a while ago, but um, it was just dumb luck, and angers used to be a lot easier to get. So I had a lot more attempts on it uh, on that server. But yeah, I was able to get my sturdy devil's horn, and... Uh, I have already noticed in PvPs that I am significantly more tanky because of it. To continue on my good luck streak here, I managed to get myself the lucky mascot title. Uh, it doesn't give anything great. I think it gives like like mana reduction for skills or something like that. But it's actually a pretty rare title to get, uh, given that you just have to get it by dumb luck. So I was pretty happy about that as well. The last clip I have here before uh, we move on to some live clips is I did manage to get my hands on a plus seven pair of Helian gloves. Now, they are not great gloves by any means, uh, but honestly, at this point, I was just trying to get myself as many as the as many of the plus seven healing parts as possible for the set effect and the fact that they do actually have pretty high defense and you can get some nice attack brands on them. So I noticed that there was a plus seven pair of gloves for sale in the shop and uh, I reached out to one of my friends, Cairo, and I asked him if I could have 150 mil because I was 150 mil short. Uh, to buy the gloves and uh, he was nice enough to lend me the 150 mil so I could get my hands on these gloves um, and uh, continue getting my plus seven helium set uh, which you know is just going to make me all that much stronger. So guys that's all the kind of just clips I had but that is not all the progress I have been making or sorry that is not all the progress that I have made since the last video. Um, as you can see here, I now have myself a full plus seven Helion set, which is fantastic. Actually, I have a plus eight armor piece, um, and I even have uh, pants that have crit damage uh, res gems in them, which is just fantastic. Now, like I said, I had on my own, I had obtained the plus seven Helion armor, I had obtained the plus seven uh, Helion boots, and I had obtained plus seven Helion gloves. But shortly after that, I was mailed by someone named Eternity. Um, and he sent me an entire plus seven Alokan Helion set, uh, which just made everything significantly easier for me in terms of getting the armor itself. Obviously, I want to go for plus 10 in the long run, 
Uh, but this really increased the strength of my character, being able to get myself a plus five, um, or sorry, not a plus five, but the five piece set effect, which is just really strong. And I also have some leftover pieces now. I have an extra pair of boots, an extra pair of gloves, and I have a extra armor piece, all plus seven, which is going to be uh, really good um, for when it comes to me trying to enhance stuff. I'd really still like to try to get as close to plus 10 as possible. Um, so I, I'm going to continue to work on that. Basically right now, guys, I'm going to chill with the plus seven set until there's an event where I can get myself um, some more graces, and then I will be trying to enhance stuff. I'm probably just going to be trying to save up gold R-gates uh, just so that I have enough condensed golds to try that in the future. There's always a event at some point and i am very patient and i will wait for it so yeah um the, the other thing uh that i have been really keeping up with guys is this attendance event as you can see here i'm actually if i can manage to close my inventory uh i can collect here so uh up next is holy water 35 percent grace 50 percent shiny rune which is really good and then finally my winter type costume which i'm going to use to replace this god awful swimsuit costume that you guys know i hate um but yeah so what am I doing going forward here? I mean, this this pretty much covers the progress that I've made on my character. Um, there are still a lot of things that I need to do. And I think one of my biggest focuses is going to be working on getting titles. The titles don't really make your character that much stronger, but it's something that I can get in game and farm and I kind of enjoy farming. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be working on titles. You'll probably see a bunch of those in my next progress video. Um, I do have an upgrade for, like, this is my PvE costume, for example. I did manage to get one of these 6% monster damage reses, so I'm probably going to switch that into here. Um, actually, I think I have a plier, so actually, I could do that right now while we're, while we're chilling here. Um, for my PvP costume, I put the 25 shield recovery in. I think I had that in my last video, and then, um, I just threw an 18 in because it was really cheap, and, you know, I can kind of replace it whenever I want, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, but we'll go ahead here and we'll switch out the uh, block for the PvE because once again this is a PvE costume that is not where I wanted to go. Um, it's a, it's a PvE it's 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 a PvE costume so I don't really uh, you know I don't really care. Oh actually I don't even need to use a plier because I don't really care about this seven percent block so I'm just gonna remove it. I don't really care if it gets destroyed. Um, that way I don't have to waste a plier. Yeah, sorry, I didn't realize that. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put in that monster damage crest, which is great. Um, so now my, my, my PvE costume is just that much better, which is great. I'm very happy about that. Uh, one of the biggest titles that I will be going for will definitely be the one from the uh, Karen's Fire Pot, just because it gives 1% 1 um, 1 PvP damage tolerance, which doesn't sound like a lot, guys, but honestly, every little bit adds up. So I'll be doing that for sure. Like I said, I really want to try to get my Sturdy Horn to a Shiny Horn at least, so I'm going to keep farming alts to get angers and try to upgrade that. I would also really like to try to get my Full Moon to a Pure Moon. Um, that would be a really nice addition. Um, at some point here, I want to try to get my Heffron Belt plus 6 to plus 7, and then I would like to get some uh, PV, PvP to Tolerance Stones to put in there. I think I have one already. Um, I have one four percent somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. Uh, but I have one four percent, so I'll at least get one more four percent. Optimally, I'd like to get five percent, but uh, it's those are much harder to get, right? So I would be happy with the four percent. The the other thing that I really want to do is I want to switch out my Zudo guard arm for a uh, awakened Zudo guard arm. Uh, the primary reason for that being that at plus six it gives more PvP damage res. I believe I believe it gives eight percent at plus six, so that'll be an additional two percent for my character, uh, which would be really nice. I don't know if someone's selling one right now. I can show you the stats. Oh yeah, here we go. So this one's uh, plus zero, but it starts at starts at three percent. The only thing is, is is I don't want to buy one just like this because I really want a minimum of five K max HP added on. Um, before I start plussing it up. And then I have some uh, block gems here that were given to me, or block bijus that I will be putting in there, uh, which is good. I'm, I'm also on the lookout for a, probably like an 8% melee for my unique Sayer, or maybe like an abnormal res gem, but those are kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, guys. That's kind of what I'm working on. Um, I definitely... Uh, I'm just going to be trying to save money. I still need to try to, like, you know, kind of deck out my belt and my armlets here. These are all attack for PvE, but I really need to get some PvP ones as well. So maybe plus 7 Zudo, plus 7 Heffron, 
uh, plus seven belt. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to decide what exactly I want at this point. Um, or if maybe I should just try to save money and get more plus 10 stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the future brings, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Questions, suggestions, as always, you leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.